Good morning, All Saints, and Happy New Year. I hope you had a restful break, enjoying your time with your friends and family. As we enter into this new year with hope, dreams, and expectations, this week's gospel passage helps us to wash away the old and to begin anew. So let's focus on that gospel passage. A reading from the gospel according to Matthew. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. This week's gospel is rather short, but it reveals to us a great message of calling, identity, commitment, and readiness. To put this passage into context, we need to go back a few weeks before Christmas, when we heard of John the Baptist and his mission. We know that John was called by God to be the prophet of the time, to prepare the way for the Messiah. He went around preaching and proclaiming the coming of the Messiah. He performed his mission with great conviction, and many believed. Then we commemorated the birth of Jesus. The shepherds and the kings arrived with gifts to pay homage to the newborn king. We celebrated this last Friday, the feast of three wise men, also known as the Epiphany. Fast forward to this week's gospel. Jesus sets out to fulfill his mission on earth. It begins with his baptism at River Jordan. Jesus had traveled from Galilee and he found John the Baptist at the Jordan River. Jesus had come to John to be baptized by him. However, John was shocked at his request. John immediately objected and said to Jesus, I am the one who should be baptized by you, yet you come to me. Jesus then says to John, let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then John baptized Jesus. When Jesus came out of the water, the sky opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending on him like a dove. Then a voice from heaven spoke, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. With this reading of the gospel, we are invited to understand who Jesus is and what his baptism means to us. Through baptism, we receive the grace of God and we are born in Christ. Through baptism, we embody Christ on earth, continuing the work of Christ and leading a good life. Jesus is called the beloved Son of God. On this new year, we are called to remind ourselves of who we are and understand our worth. It is a reminder to each of us, you are my beloved child, my favor rests on you. Now take a few moments and ask yourself, do I truly believe that I am the beloved of God? Do I sense his presence with me at times? Do I trust and believe that God is with me in every moment of the day? If you reply, yes, I believe, you are truly a person of faith. And if your answer is, well, sometimes I believe, but other, at other times I do not sense his presence at all, it's time we strengthen and sharpen our faith in this new year. Some are given the gift of faith, that they naturally have the faith in God even when they don't feel it. And some are journeying to make that leap of faith. Today, let us remind ourselves and others to wash away the negative thoughts of despair and to put on the armor of true worth and identity, that we are the beloved sons and daughters of the Almighty Father. And to conclude, let the words of the late Pope Benedict XVI encourage us to live our lives with great worth. He said, each of us is the result of a thought of God. Each of us is willed, each of us is loved, each of us is necessary. If we allow the love of Christ to change our heart, then we can change the world. This is the secret of authentic happiness. Have a fantastic week, All Saints, and a blessed year ahead.